with bars, pubs and restaurants set to reopen from the 4th of July. We've been invited down to the Brotherhood Leeds to find out what measures they've put in place to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. I remember when we were shutting down the venue originally and we're having to we're like deep cleaning the full place and like getting everything ready to close. Um, I remember being like, oh, come on, guys, we need to make sure everything's spotless. We might be closed for up to three weeks, like as if that was mad to be closed for three weeks. So it was a, all a bit crazy. We really weren't expecting it. I think there was a point in April where we were like, we might not be able to open until October now. Like it was it was um, a bit of a worrying time really for the whole industry. But um, yeah, we're quite pleased that we can open in July now. So at the Brotherhood we've introduced the Pearspec screens which you can see in the background and um, that's probably been the biggest cost to us but um, it's also something that we probably value the most is the staff safety so it's really just there to protect the staff and um, protect the customers from the staff as well I guess. We've introduced QR codes so there's um, codes on all the tables it'll bring up a notification on your phone and you just click on that and it'll come up with our full menu and then you just click whatever you want um, you can use Apple Pay, Google Pay um, or input your card details and then that'll basically we'll deliver that straight to your table so you don't have to download an app or anything like that it's just literally put your camera over the QR code and it'll come up straight away. We've planned for a third capacity basically. We've made a new table plan just to ensure that there is at all times at least 1.2 metres between each table. There's it's like specific walkways for people um, to go to go to the toilet, like staff leaving, like having to come from the kitchen or the bar. All of our staff will only be delivering drinks in full PPE. We've got like the guards, and everything. Um, so there should never really be properly face to face with customers. I think we've got eight new hand sanitising stations around the venue. We want to succeed as much as people want to have a good time basically, so we're doing everything in our power to ensure all of that can happen.